Hi everyone, it's Megan, one of the interns at Club Dreams. This week's story and theme is patriotism. So I chose a book that kind of goes along with that theme, you know, with 4th of July that just passed. Hope everybody had a good holiday. So let's get to the book. So this book is called The Night Before the 4th of July. Twas the night before July 4th and all across the USA. Americans were gearing up for Independence Day. Mom tied up the bunting while I gave Dad a hand. We hung up the flag from our porch stand. That night, we both slept sprawled out in our beds while visions of fireworks popped in our heads. Let's up a little bit. The next morning, we dressed up in red, white, and blue. I even wore stars on one, one on each shoe. We lined up on Main Street. Look, here comes the parade floats. Hooray for the marching band and for the 4-H club goats. The mayor tossed candy. I shouted, here, here. And Uncle Sam walked on stilts, brought up the rear. Friends and family came over for a barbecue, a backyard barbecue. Dad fired up the grill as the storm started to brew. The goodies were set on a picnic table with care. Get them while they're hot, hollered Dad, flipping burgers into the air. But just when we sat down, it started to pour. Grab the food, shouted Mom. And we reached through the door. In hot dogs, in salads, in blueberry pie, in melons and corn, keep those potato chips dry. We gathered in the kitchen and spilled into the hall. Squeeze in, said Mom. There's room for us all. As we munched on our food, Grandma turned to Grandpa. There will be no fireworks show if this rain doesn't stop. What? We all shouted. No rockets? Red glare? Fourth of July without fireworks? That's totally not fair. When we, when what to our wondering eyes should appear, with the rain suddenly stopping, the sky was now clear. We piled in the car and drove to the park. We threw down a blanket and it began. Sorry about that. <laughs> we piled in the car and drove to the park. We threw a blanket, we threw down a blanket as it began to grow dark. Dad lit the sparklers. We drew circles in the air. We snapped glow sticks on our wrists and glow halos in our hair. The first firework was launched high into the night. It blooms like a flower exploding with light. Whiz, crackle, boom, woohoo, cheered the crowd. But my brother covered his ears and whimper. That's too loud. The, the band played the national anthem. Dad sang, Oh, say, can you see? That's when I covered my ears because he was way out of key. And now the grand finale. Wow, that's the best I've seen yet. A sky filled with colors, a show I'll never forget. When the last firework fizzled like fairy dust in the sky, we cheered and shouted, happy 4th of July. All right, well, I hope everybody liked the story for this week. Happy 4th and enjoy this time with your families.